be Jesus and Mary. Our Lord explains in the gospel today how great the guilt, how great the culpability of that generation with whom he lived, the generation who had the great grace of hearing the words of wisdom come forth from his mouth, those words which were wiser than those of Solomon and who had heard of the signs, the miracles that he had performed, and would especially be given that sign of his resurrection. And still, nevertheless, they refused to believe, and they refused to repent. And for this reason, our Lord chastises them and calls them an evil generation. An evil generation. Evil meaning they are filled with bad will. It is, it, it's not that the wisdom of his words aren't convincing or that the signs aren't apparent, a testimony to his divinity, a verification of the truth of his message, but they have bad will and do not want to believe and do not want to repent. And for this reason, he calls them an evil generation. As the scripture says, to those who have been given much, much will be required. Today is the celebration of the 91st anniversary of the miracle of the sun at Fatima. And so we're celebrating a votive mass in honor of Our Lady of Fatima. And we can say that the miracle of the sun is the great sign of for our generation, this is the much that we have been given. Now, somebody might say, well, you know, the miracle of the sun, that was almost a hundred years ago. Can we really say it's for our generation? You know, but the fact is, we can still read the testimonies. We can see the paper, the local paper at Fatima, and what was written about the miracle of the sun, the testimonies of those who were present, many of whom were non-believers, agnostics, atheists, critics, who came to disprove the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima. We can even read about it in the New York Times, who wrote an article on the miracle of the sun following that event. And so the miracle of the sun was the great sign verifying the authenticity of Our Lady's apparitions and the authenticity of her message. It was a great sign because it was a public miracle. It was pre-announced many months ahead of time and witnessed by over 70,000. And all attested essentially to the same thing. It is having witnessed, first of all, the fact that they could look directly at the sun without hurting their eyes. Then the sun which began to spin or dance in the sky and emit various colors. Then falling from the sky, the sun then dried the ground and the clothes on their backs, which were soaked because of the rain that had been falling all morning. And now, if you get on the internet, and I've gotten on there and looked and read at some of the websites that criticize the miracle of the sun and try to make claims to disprove it, I think there's one called miracleskeptic.com or something like that. And if you read, the arguments are very incoherent, illogical, kind of random pot shots they're taking at the miracle of the sun. And you can even sense a hint of desperation, you know, a real desire to somehow debunk the miracle of Fatima. 
That's how important a sign it is for our generation. And they simply are falling in line with what the leading astronomer at Lisbon said at the time of Fatima when he himself was questioned about the miracle of the sun. What do you have to say? How do you explain it? And his response, well, God doesn't exist, so miracles can't happen. So who knows what happened at Fatima and who cares, period. This is exactly what our Lord was talking about when he called his own generation an evil generation. You can say the same thing. You see in the response of that astronomer, bad will, bad will. He doesn't want to know the truth. And so that's exactly the reason why we can title our generation, which rejects Fatima, or those who do reject Fatima, an evil generation. There's an evident sign that bears witness to the truth of the apparition, of the message, and ultimately of our Catholic faith. And so let's take seriously Our Lady's message at Fatima. Let's thank God for having given us this great sign. And let's thank him above all by praying the rosary every day as Our Lady has asked. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.